Hello everyone from Porto, the second largest city in Portugal. This magical city located on the banks of Douro River and famous around the world for its port wine. And if you love trying new food, Porto won't disappoint. So in this video I'll share with you my top 10 dishes you have to try when in Porto. We came to Cervejaria Brazao. Cervejaria from Portuguese translates as brewery. Basically, it's like a pub in the UK. In here, you can find the best food. And Brazao was recommended by locals to try Francesinha. Francesinha is the most famous sandwich in Porto. It's got beef steak, sausages, cured meat, ham, and it's all in the middle of two slices of bread. And the entire sandwich is covered with melted cheese and drenched in a beer sauce. And if it was not enough, it is topped off with a fried egg. The word Francesinha translates roughly as little French girl, but there is nothing little about this sandwich. It is huge and it's good that we ordered one to share. We also tried aleira. Aleira is a type of Portuguese smoked sausage invented by Jewish people in northern Portugal. It is basically a pork-free sausage substitute. It is made from different types of meat including chicken, turkey, partridge, wheel, rabbit or other. After a quick walk on Rua das Flores, we came to Castro for an afternoon snack. Atelier de Pastéis de Nata Castro is one of the best places to try Pastel de Nata in Porto. Pastel de Nata is the most popular dessert in Portugal. It is a traditional pastry made with cream, egg yolks, flour, sugar and puff pastry. And it tastes the best when it is fresh out of the oven. Here in Castro, you can see the pastry chef freshly making the pastéis. Have one for breakfast in Porto or as an afternoon snack and make sure to try it Porto way. Dust it off with cinnamon. Then we went to Kong to try Bifana and Pão, traditional Portuguese pork sandwich. But turned out everything in here is very spicy, so instead we went to Casa Gage Tradicional. We tried Caldo Verde, which literally means green broth. This green soup is a traditional Portuguese dish made with thinly sliced kale or collard greens, potatoes and sliced chorizo sausage. We also tried Sande do Pernil com Queijo, sandwiches with ham and cheese. Then we popped into a Perla de Blanc or the Pearl of Blanc, one of the oldest grocery stores in the city, founded in 1917. This grocery store has a large variety of products, meat and cheese, dried fruits, wine, sausages, biscuits and of course sardines. Most of the products on sale are Portuguese, so it is perfect location to buy gifts to take back home. Then it was time to explore Mercado de Blanc. Porto's historic food market. Come here to buy fresh produce, local meats, fish and dairy products. We finished our second day in Porto by visiting Majestic Cafe. This is where JK Rowling wrote the first Harry Potter book while she lived in Porto. We went for cappuccino and rabanadas, Portuguese-style French toast that is typically served on Christmas. This place is overpriced, but we knew that before coming. It's like a time machine in here, and you pay for aesthetic, I guess. When visiting Porto, there is one place you cannot miss. 
go up to lay the first bridge and make sure you walk on the top level. Once you cross the bridge, you are in a different city called Vila Nova de Gaia. Vila Nova de Gaia riverfront is the best to see Porto and also this is where all port houses are located. Make sure to try cod pastry at Casa Portuguesa do Pastel de Bacalhau. It is a very beautiful place. I felt like I was in a Harry Potter movie. Go for Portuguese experience so you get to try both cod cake and white port. Next door you'll find the fantastic world of Portuguese sardines. And I bet you've never seen so many sardine cans in your life. It is a great place to buy gifts from Porto. And although they have many different shops in Porto and Lisbon, I like this one in Vila Nova de Gaia the best. Also make sure to pop into Mercado Beira Rio to try Tripaza Moda do Porto, traditional dish of the city of Porto. On our last day in Porto, we tried one more traditional dish, arroz do pato, duck rice, which has its roots in the north of Portugal, specifically the city of Braga. And I can't find words to describe you how delicious this dish is. For a sweet snack, we went to Leitaria da Quinta do Passo, which again was recommended by locals as the best place to eat eclairs in Porto. They've been making eclairs in Porto since 1920, and we tried a classic eclair as well as caramel, crocanchi with nuts, and stars biscuits. I'm a huge fan of eclairs, and I have to say, I was very impressed. Portugal in general is a great destination, not only because of its history, food, architecture, but because of its people. We've been to many different countries and this is our third time in Portugal and I have to tell you, Portuguese people are very hospitable and welcoming. Every time in Portugal, I admire how sweet and kind they are. Portugal will forever have a special place in my heart. Porto is the second largest city in Portugal, so I suggest you to come here for three days to see it all and enjoy it to the fullest because Porto is not a place, it's a feeling. Oh.